All right, you can't miss out on these apps for your iPad. They can be a total game changer for your productivity. My name is Prithviraj and let's get right into it. Microsoft Copilot. You probably know that OpenAI is backed by Microsoft now. Copilot is like a fusion between ChatGPT and DALI 3. Hence, you can ask questions to Copilot as well as generate photos. This is a very easy and a free way to access your generative AI tools. You can simply ask your query and it will answer that for you. This is actually really helpful for me when I research for my videos. Else, I can simply ask it to write some lyrics like Katy Perry. Copilot also gives you quick links to your supportive resources below the generated query. Simply, I can create AI-generated photos using DALI right inside Copilot. For example, let's ask it to generate a photo of a dog eating ice cream. While using DALI standalone on their website, I often found a long waiting list. I didn't face any issues so far while generating photos using Copilot. I'll update you guys in the comments section if I ever come across such an issue. But yeah, instead of using multiple apps for generative AI, you can simply use Copilot and you're good to go in all aspects. Good note 6. This has absolutely been one of my favorite handwritten note taking apps for the iPad. I really like the writing feel on this app. It really feels natural and smooth. My Apple Pencil simply glides on this app. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't do this anymore. GoodNotes gives you a variety of options to choose from. You can select between different styles of pages and colors. Same goes for your pen options. You can choose what kind of pen you want to write with and its colors. You can create different notebooks and folders here in GoodNotes. Hence, it really becomes easier for you to organize all your stuff. You can also import PDFs and photos in this app. In 2023, GoodNotes added some AI features on their app. Now, if you make a spelling mistake while writing, it will not only highlight the mistake, but it can also fix your spelling mistake in your own handwriting. This feature feature is more like a hit or miss when it works, it's the best thing ever, but when it doesn't, I would rather just erase that and write it again. But do you know what's the best thing about this app? When you make a mistake while writing, instead of switching to the eraser tool, you can simply scribble over it and it will erase that part. This will give you a real life kind of writing feel and on top of that, it's so satisfying. I can do this all day. You will be able to access your handwritten notes from your iPhone or your MacBook as well. Qbox. I recently discovered this app and I literally have started using it every day. Firstly, before talking about anything else, all I want to say is I love the UI. Simply. It's a very clean and minimal app. Qbox is a read it later app with some AI features. Every app has AI nowadays. Qbox is an app designed for research and learning. It specifically helps you focus on reading and organizing parts so that you can analyze information more effectively. The app is very simple. When you find an article or a link online, but you don't really have time to read that, you can simply import it into Qbox to read it later. And this will also help you read a cleaner version of that article without any ads and distractions. Qbox even allows you to organize your articles and and links by creating different folders based on your needs. To load a link here, simply hit the share button on your browser and from there select Qbox and as you can see it will load up the article for you and this also allows you to read them offline. So yeah, it can be a great tool if you wanted to read something in flights. However, if you get the subscription of this app, it can help you summarize your articles right within this app, thereby helping you to reduce the friction from switching to chat GPT in order to summarize. It also gives you a lot of options to choose from. You can ask key points of the article and stuff and also you can translate it in your desired language. I am using the free version of this app as I only use this as a read it later app. I like to read ad free and offline and I really love the clean interface. If I want to summarize, I can simply switch over to ChatGPT. As we already have too many subscriptions these days, Structured is the next app on the list. I have been using the calendar blocking method quite religiously I must say and that my friend has helped me stay a lot more productive. In this technique, we basically plan and block out time for a specific task. Think of this like a budget for your time. Google Calendar is actually the easiest way to follow this method. But I'll be honest, Google Calendar can become a bit boring over time. So if you want to try something fresh, then check this one out. It again has a very clean interface and you can also pick the color palette of the app based on your preference. You can plan your day, add task and subtask. You can also create repetitive tasks and daily habits. This makes pre-planning for your day or the entire week in advance a lot easier. If you have never tried the calendar blocking method, then I highly recommend that you give that a try. I plan on creating a dedicated video on the calendar blocking method as I really want to help you in the same. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel for that and I promise to keep creating more such videos on productivity tech and life. Scannable by Evernote. This has been my favorite scanner app till this date period. It's simple and it gets the job done. It allows you to save and send your documents both as PDF as well as a photo. Simply open the app, scan it up and you're good to go. It also enhances your photo thereby making it look a lot more cleaner. It's gonna brighten up your document and also remove any artifacts if there are any. This app has surely made my life a lot easier as I'm able to scan my documents and create PDFs on the go. Specifically scanning my ID proof documents. On top of that, if you use Evernote as your notes app, then you're in luck. 
It's gonna automatically sync with Evernote. Notion is the next app on our list. Notion is one of the most popular note-taking apps out there. It's a very simple app and easy to get into, but it's one of the most difficult apps to master. The possibilities are endless in this app. Notion provides a modular block-based system. You can create and customize your pages as per your liking in this app. You can add different cover photos in every note of yours. This is a really great tool for storing your necessary information. It's really powerful in that aspect. Simply because you're able to organize everything properly in Notion. We can nest pages and also interlink different pages together. It's highly customizable as I previously mentioned. There are various third-party widgets and extensions that you can add in Notion in order to make it look more aesthetic. Notion's database feature is also a powerful tool for organizing and managing your data. You can create databases to manage your finance and keep track of your progress or, or project with your team. I used to track the progress of my videos and other aspects of my life using Notion. Specifically it's great for collaborating with someone like I collaborate with my editor on my Notion page and it's really easy to keep track of everything. I previously created a dedicated video on tips by which you can speed up your workflow on Notion. I'll be leaving the link below the like button in case you're interested. You can quick search your page contents easily or you can simply share a single page on Notion if you wanted to. However, Notion can be very slow at times. The loading time is kind of high and you need a internet connection to access your notes. The phone app even feels slower to be honest. But other than that aspect, it's a very powerful app and it's widely used in professional workspaces. Alright, productivity apps video is just not complete without featuring at least one task management app. To do it, I basically use this app for everything. I basically manage my entire life using this app. Earlier, I just used to write down my task and use it as a typical to-do list. But now, I basically run my entire life over here. As the name suggests, it's a to-do list app. You can add your task and mark them as complete. We of course know that. But it has this weekly calendar view. It helps me get a clear understanding of how my week is gonna look like. I'm able to pre-plan my tasks this way. This practice has surely helped me stay a lot more organized and achieve my goals on time. Earlier, I used to manage my projects using Notion, but the major setback of Notion is that firstly, it was very slow like I previously mentioned. And again, it doesn't work offline. You need an internet connection. And on top of that, you need things to be snappy to get them done quickly. I'm using Notion as a database and storing other information of course, but I do all the planning related stuff here in Todoist now. You can create different project folders which is really useful. thereby allowing allowing you to do proper project management here. I note all my videos down into different blocks in Todoist and I manage my deadlines and stuff using that. I even created a project folder for all my 2024 goals. It consists of everything I want to achieve this year. Another aspect of Todoist I really enjoy is that it supports simple language. I can simply type script the video tomorrow at 10 am and it will do it. Also by this process we are able to create recurring tasks. I can simply type in take online class every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 pm and it will create a recurring task for us. Day one. It's the most calming app in our list today. I've started taking my mental health quite seriously. Journaling is something that has really helped me to deal with my mental stress. Day One has literally been one of the most popular journaling apps for a very long time. Day One makes journaling effortless with its clean and uncluttered design. It's really easy to navigate and it also has this notebook-like feel to be honest. Every entry you create gets organized in a date-wise format. If you pay for this subscription, then you get to create multiple journals in the form of different folders. You can add photos, voice notes and also attach your location in this app. And since we are on the iPad, you can take handwritten journals if you want. This way you'll be able to get the benefits of both digital and analog journals. You're gonna see your own handwriting making it a lot more personal towards yourself as journaling is supposed to be a very personal thing. So those were the analog benefits. But since it's digital, you can access it on multiple devices using the cloud. It also has this feature called daily prompt. It will give you a different prompt daily and that can help you get started writing. Really useful if you need some motivation and inspiration to get started. One of the major selling points of day one is the calendar view. It highlights the days where you have created journal entries. It also has this on this day feature like Snapchat and Google Photos. It will show you your previous journals you created on that given day. It's simply gonna make you feel good realizing where you were the previous year and where you are now. It's really pleasing to monitor your progress and mental state over the years. If you create a lot of voice notes or you simply record your voiceovers for your YouTube videos or other content, then check out Dolby On. It's an official app by Dolby as the name suggests. It records your audio in an uncompressed format. It creates WAV files at 48 kHz at 24-bit. Quite technical, I know, but 
that's one of the best out there. A simple 5 minute recording will be of 90 MBs, whereas a normal 5 minute recording is around 7 to 8 MBs. It stores a lot of information on your audio, hence it increases the file size. If you are a guitarist or a singer and you wanted to record on the go, then you can definitely use this app to record at the highest quality audio. Same applies if you are a YouTuber. Stop using your default iPhone voice recorder for this. The default iOS recorder records at a lossy format which is M4A. Record your audio in lossless WAV files instead. Streaks. This is a very simple yet so effective app. Streaks is a habit tracking app. It has a really nice visual feel to this app and you can customize its color as per your liking. The basic concept of this app is to help you stay on track of your habits creating daily streaks as the name suggests. And again, I really love the interface. It shows your habits in big, big blocks. It's quite self-explanatory to be honest. You can simply create new habits that you want to implement using this app and once you're done, you can mark them as complete. They also have an app for the Apple Watch. So you can choose to mark them from your watch instead. If you have any fitness goal, for example, you want to take 1000 steps every day, it it can simply sync with Apple Health and automatically mark your habit as complete. So these were the good habits, but we all have certain bad habits that limit us from reaching our true potential. Click here to check out the 5 habits that stop us from being productive on a daily basis.